Hello everybody, this is Akashar. Welcome to part 4 of Tic-Tac-Toe with Python and Turtle. Okay, let's create a check function here. Define check mean, which is going to be... Uh, where is my caution? Define check mean self. And we are going to use it for checking the states of the game if one of the player uh, actually win the game. So for f s t, which are representative for first or second and third in self dot win positions, if self dot board first, it means first index equal self dot board. As second index again equal equal self dot board board self dot board my bad self dot board t like if first element second element and uh, actually is uh, index 0 and index 1 and index 2 which are first element second and third element are equal and self dot board f which is first element it's not empty all right then return true this is check me we are going to use it later in both user function and computer function. Now let's go to computer function. Now before I continue, let me show you what's going to happen now after the second move, I think. Let's load the game, call it, and... Okay, now, yes, it's working. A second one. All right, here, this line, self.board C spot equals self dot move and after we got type error list in the uh, in dice must be integer or slice not non type it means we have non type return so uh, now we have to write the rest of the logic for computer move and also include this error so what we need to do here oh yeah we say if c spot equal equal none then for f s and t in self dot semi positions if self dot board f equal equal o and self dot board s also equal equal o and then now again if self dot board t equal equal o equal equal empty space then c spot will be t now what's going on here is that we are checking here in our uh, semi positions first thing we need to do if if computer in next move going to win the game so it's checking for that condition for the first second and third element in the list semi position each of these lists inside the semi position is checking for with all of this con uh, skeleton inside those skeletons and where is my code here um i lost my code okay here so if this first element is O and second element is O, it's checking for the third element. If the third element is empty and the move, it's a computer turn, it's going to capture that place and it will win again. Now, another thing is if C spot 
equal equal none for actually we can just copy these lines here and see and come here okay for first second and third in self dot semi position in self dot f first element or first item is x this time and second element is also x this time then if the third element is empty then again c spot will be t it means first computer will check for possible move for win if it's possible to make a move and win the game it will do it and the game will, will be over and if it's not possible it's checking if after one one move we are going to win so it have to prevent us from the winning so he will spot that uh, spot uh, stamp that place or capture that place a spot on the board and it's preventing us from winning and if none of these is the case if again c spot equal equal none And after C spot equal random dot rand range zero to nine, but from zero to nine it should be already taken some numbers. So how we can fix it? Because we don't want to stamp in a taken place. Then now the trick is here. We can write small while loop. So while self dot board c spot uh, it's not empty place then again c spot equal random dot rand range zero to nine okay and if here self dot board c spot is empty space then break so it's checking first if there is a move to play and win it will play if there is a move and prevent the prevent us to win it will do it and if none of the case it will check for random move because it really doesn't matter so actually we we can expand this skeleton here to more possibilities and loop through them to get um, more accurate thinking for computer but I uh, we will see because most of the time with this way the computer will choose the correct move and and if and here when there is uh, none of these are the case it will try to find the random uh, spot and take it um actually we can try if it works now until now what we write let's clear the screen and tic tac toe okay now here all right you see because the next move if it didn't take this position and top right we could win the game now we have to prevent him to of winning the game here and it will choose here so kind of random but it's kind of smart move somehow and here and it's done let's try one more time Why? Okay. Let's try one more time. <sighs> now we can choose there or try to trick him. How oh, we can try to trick him here, there, and it's almost tie all the time. Okay, now the logic of the game is almost done and only thing we need to take care of is having some kind of prompt when one of the 
players win the game or when we get tied and start a new game clean the screen and have some text on the screen and um, so the game will be finished then I will continue and I will try to do all this stuff in uh, next video if you like my videos my tutorials please subscribe thanks for watching I see you in next video